Welcome back to the Adobe Photoshop for Architecture students. Now, the aim of this series of videos so far has been to try and edit out the hand that's holding up this toy plane through here so that it appears that the plane is flying through the sky itself. Now, the one remaining element that we need to fix up to make the, the image you know, as real as it possibly can be is that we notice that the hand um, that was holding this part of the tail wing has meant that as we've edited we've removed a lot of that tail wing so we need to reconstruct that. Now possibly the easiest way to reconstruct um, parts of an image is to sample um, parts of other parts of the image and just simply copy paste and then blend those into it. So the much easier way we're going to do it through here let's just sample this part of the wing above. So we're going to copy that, Control c and paste that, Control v Now in the Mac that would be Command instead of Control. I'm using the Move tool to reposition the tail fin through here. Now that's probably maybe about right through there. Now I'm going to do a little bit of editing through here. I'm just going to erase that bit that's just overlapping the tail fin through there. So I'm going to help that through just making a small marquee. So when I erase it, I get a nice clean edge against there. I'm going to shut off that marquee, Control D. So now I can sort of move my tail fin a little bit more. So really the main difference now between looking at this tail fin and this tail fin, we notice that there's a little wedge cut in it there, whereas at the moment we've got a square. So I'm going to be fairly blunt about it and just simply cut a bit of that tail wing off through there. Control D to stop that off. I'm going to erase a bit more of that background through there. Okay, it's not doing too bad. It's probably actually a little bit big, so I'm going to move it a bit closer to there, and I'll do a little bit more of an edit of that tail through there, just so that we've we've got a nice kind of edge to it. So look, that's reasonably convincing. So what I'm going to do is, you notice I've got a, a separate layer now because I've, I've cut and paste. What I'm going to do is I'm going to merge these two layers together. So in my fly out through here, I'm just going to flatten my image. And now as a last resort, I'm going to just go zoom into this area through here and I'm going to use my spot healing brush again much smaller diameter I'm just going to try and blend those two oops together a bit more and zoom out to extents as a last thing I'm just going to crop the image get rid of the excessive amounts of blue that's good there enter to accept Brilliant.